Hello everybody, welcome back. It's unboxing time, and as you can see from over here, there is four boxes. These are all BAM horror boxes. I have been... just haven't opened them. Well, I've opened them to unseal them, obviously, but I haven't actually looked inside them yet. But I decided I would wait for a bit, and then do it as one big load. I wasn't expecting it to be this many, mind. I was going to be like two or three, but we have four. So this should be... Whether it's in this order or not, I don't know. But it should be February, March, April, May? Anyway, let's find out together. So, first box. As always, link down below if you want to sign up to uh, Bam Horror or the other versions. Oh, this is this one. I remember this being coming out. And it comes with a signed knife. An actual signed knife. I can't recall who it's signed by. So, if I can get it out, it's just stuck in there. Oh, it's actually in a little sleepy bit. So I'll get it out of there. Like, yes, that is an actual real knife. So, there we go. Actual signed knife. I guess we'll find out at the end who it's by, because I can't recall. Because it has been a while since this box has come. Find out together at the end. And we have... Oh! Candyman! Candyman pin! I do like Candyman. Let's get him out of there so you can see him. These are usually limited to a certain number. It's usually three different types you can get. So... Candyman! And... Inside we here, oh, oh, okay, we have a 1-up congratulations card, which usually means you got an extra boosting up kind of thing, so like a pin, possibly it's one of the limited things, so upgrade your limited edition item, so, let's see what next thing, ah, here we go, is that what that's from? Ah, the knife is hand-signed by Twisty Troy James, who plays Pretzel Jack in Channel Zero, The Dream Door, which I haven't watched yet, I did like the first series, that was good, but I haven't got around to watching the next one yet. So it's hand signed by him. So let's get around to watching it eventually. Next up, we have oh, we have a, a comic book, which is a Vampirella. I don't know if it's signed or anything, but it's a comic book. The Vampirella. You can never really go wrong with Vampirella, can you? I saw it. And last but not least, in this box, it's aha. So this must have been when did Pet Sorry come out? So to August now, so is it May? Something like that came out. So this is from the new Pet Cemetery. It's a piece of art signed by somebody. Find out at the end or a minute. 185 out of 500. So as you do like the art in here, this is. An art print hand signed by artist DED. It's titled Pets. So let's have a look and we'll find out what this box was. This box was this box was all the way from April. So these, that's what my limited thing was. These are this one's limited out of 500 and it comes with different uh, Things so you got the blue one, which is the normal one, and then I've got the pink one, pinky red one there. There's all different types of pin badges you can get, and as always, there's quite a few that I like, but I do think I think I've probably got the better one, though I do like the middle one. The, the B one's pretty cool as well. Let's be honest, the Candyman, they're all going to be good, and the comics and. Just, just as, just as a dynamite exclusive comic, so yeah, that was that thing. As a good box, let's go on for another one, shall we? So that was April's. This is, I don't know. It has bubble wrap in it. Some paper. We got a green one-up card. Oh, we have a Sid Haig pin. This is our House of a Thousand Corpses. So, Captain Spaulding. 
kind of funny because I was only just watching uh, earlier How High on the Hog, which stars uh, Sid Haig. He also produced the film. And uh, yeah, the, the film is it's quite fun to watch. It's very much, um, you could tell Sid Haig was involved producing it because it's got, a, it's kind of grind out the exploitation -y kind of thing, it's got that kind of feel to it, so perfect for Sid Haig. Next up in here is a chalkboard signed by, oh, oh, the thing's actually in here, so we have to find, we can find out together who it actually signed, hand signed by. So it says Ricky, I don't know, it's that, Nightmare on Elm Street. There you go. I was right. Couldn't remember his name, but it's hand signed by Ricky Dean Logan, who played Carlos in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. So I'm pretty sure this was the character who had hearing aids and then scraped nails across his claws across the chalkboard. I think exactly. Been a while since I watched one, this one, but yeah, it was this guy anyway. So that's cool. Next up we have a random bottle. I don't know. It's not got anything in it though. So it's one of the prop replica things. It is an actual bottle. And it is an actual bottle. Cerveza Chango. From dust till dawn? Perhaps? Another thing I haven't watched for a very long time. There's this. I'm sure that's from Dust to Dawn. And oh, they got the. This is the art print. Aha! So this is. This must be the. What the one up card is. A Wes Craven film screen piece of art. Lifetime out of 500. Uh, there you go. And. If you want to get a book based on, uh, well not based, but talking about the film Scream, then I recommend picking up Devil's Advocate's book Scream, written by Stephen West, who also writes for this website. So yes, check that book out. It's available on Amazon and Amazon.com and all, all other places you better find it. But that's that. And this is... So that was all the different pins. Was I'll see the Firefly family, and I've got the what I guess is the more common one. There's uh, Ricky signing all the things. There's the ball which was from Dust Till Dawn, and the prints which was just did you get the normal one or the pinky red one. So, yeah, the, the, the bottle is a replica bottle from the Titty Twister bar scene, and it's a drink of choice for Sex Machine. This is a real beer bottle, so display it properly. So, display your, display your drink properly, and drink responsibly. Next up is, what box was that? Did I actually say? No, that was May. On to the next one. Slightly spinning one. Oh, this one's spinning all over the place. That's got to be reanimated. Oh, there you go. The prop thing, replica thing, I guess, is. Straight away, it's a syringe. Which is a very stiff syringe. Does it actually come out? No, it doesn't actually come out. What is it? I don't know. But it's a syringe. Would be cool if it had some uh, green fluid in it. Reanimator. Uh, I can see the spoiler thing already, so I'll turn that back up the other way. Get rid of that. We got another one up card. That's cool. And we have a leprechaun! We have a leprechaun pin. I still haven't watched a new one. Is it called the Origins? Revenge? Something like that. There's two of them, I know. It says that. So, one of the new leprechaun films has the guy who plays. Who, who's whole walk in, in wrestling, and I can't remember if he plays the new guy in the new one, but I do like Leprechaun films. Yes, they're a bit silly and a bit daft, but they're fun. 
and now I've got the box done. And uh, we have this item has been hand signed by Jill Shillen, who starred as Christine Day in the Phantom of the Opera. Everything I haven't watched in a long time. I do have it. Just nothing around to watching it again. I think I've probably, I've probably only watched it about two or three times. 30 years of music. I'm pretty sure it's the one which had um, Robert England in. So there's that. Here is the, I guess, in the art thing, which is Alien, or could be Aliens. It's from the Alien things, and it's uh, it's a it's a fan art collection titled Alien, hand signed by Brian Ramiro. Three out of five hundred. So I guess we'll find out now which thing was the limited thing. And there's so much stuff off my desk time, everything's falling off, as you can hear then. And put the box in there for a bit. So the pin. Yes, the uh, the art print was the limited thing. And yes, the Phantom it was that Phantom of the Opera with uh Robert England. Mind froze. So yeah, that's different different types of pins you got. Also got that one. Syringe and different art prints and you get different um signed art down the bottom. Oh signed pictures. <laughs> oh she also played Maggie in popcorn, so potentially you could have got um signed original score sheets, probably from Phantom Opera would have and all popcorn containers randomly inserted. I mean, I suppose both of them were signed. So that was March. Not last. Well, it's last, but not least. <laughs> I see more the things already, and it's one of my favourite films. That's a massive box, but there's a lot of space inside. But you can never get enough of the stuff. I love this film. Great film. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. So it's basically this is just a, a fake. Well, it's nice. It's nice cream tub. Or yogurt tub. How do you look at it? So yeah, it's just that. But it's the stuff. Luckily, there hasn't actually got the actual stuff inside it because that would have been rather dangerous. They would have just stayed in the fridge. Never to be opened. Ever. That's awesome. Got that. The stuff. We have another one up card. So, got the blue one. <laughs> Quite nifty that little uh, The stuff pot. We have another Freddy Krueger thing. This time it's Freddy with some shades on. Only 250 of these were made, so I guess that's the the limited thing. So, so we'll check that out at the end and see. This is the end, is that it? Oh, that's done by Brian Romero as well, who did the alien art. We have beer cozy thing. Don't have a beer, and usually you put your cans in it, but. For the sake of purposes, we shall use the From Dust to Dawn Rick. There you go. Keep your hands nice and dry and whatever. I don't use beer cozies or anything, but that's what it is. I would say this is something and nothing, this thing. So it's Cat Crystal Lake. It would have been cool if it was something. I don't know. Obviously, it's Friday the 13th based, but something with Jason or something on it, but. It's okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a simple thing. Not something I would use, but it's in there. Down to the bottom, we have... Friday night. Bambox Barbers, the hand signed by Artist Rehab for the Bambox. I'm going to say Friday night, but my mind is being frazzled at the moment. 410 out of 2,000. But that's a nice art print. 
We'll find out in a minute if I was correct or wrong. <laughs> and last thing is that's from Trick or Treat. Another one of my favourite films. Mainly for the soundtrack. So this is, yep, Mark Price who played Eddie uh, Weinbar in that Trick or Treat. Which you get to see Ozzy Osbourne as a, uh, as a, well, priest. I don't think he's a priest. He's a, he's a God-fearing person on television. So, yeah, that's cool. Everything's sliding everywhere now. I've got loads of stuff to try and find somewhere to put. And, yeah, that was right. The thing was from Fright Night. So, oh, you also... Cool, Bruce. So this must be feature artist rehab for the first time in the horror box. His exclusive watercolor style brings a new perspective to the iconic '80s movie. That's pretty cool. So, <laughs> so all the different um, pins you could have got. Obviously, the they're all pretty cool. I've got the Freddy one. Who's your one? Oh, oh Elvira and Jason. It looks a bit weird with sunglasses on, but hey. Then there's all the different uh, different arts you got, and I got the one that was that one there. And then different signed things. There's the poster to Trick or Treat. Another film I recommend if you haven't seen it. Then of course there's all the other stuff that you could potentially got if you got this box. And that was February. So there you go. Quite a while back. So that's four months of Bam Horror Box. My desk is now chopper block full of horror related items, which is pretty normal to be honest. But I've got to now try and find somewhere to put all this stuff. Stuff. But uh, yeah, let me know what your favourite thing is out of all of these boxes. Normally I wouldn't leave it until I had 70 boxes to do, but I did say I was going to leave a couple. That couple became four, but hey. You've seen them now. You've seen all the four BAM horror boxes. So let me know in down in the comments down below what your favourite item in all the boxes are. Comment anything down below. Let me know if you've seen the stuff or trick or treat. And a like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. The next box, which is the June, so it should be coming soon. You should send it towards the end of the month, so July is coming in August. So, yeah, June should be here soon. So, that will be the next BAM Horror Box unboxing. So, we'll be catching up. Well, until the July box turns up in August. But, yeah. So, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And, like I mentioned, there is a link down below if you want to sign up to BAM Horror Box. You don't just do Horror Box, they do a sort of a culture box, so the mixture of the general geeky nerdy type stuff so yeah but obviously I get the horror one but yeah and of course if you haven't already check out this website horror screams at a video vault check out that book that I mentioned here and uh, the screen thing I'll leave a link down below for that as well if you want to check it out and yeah as always thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye for now